Alright, and welcome back to some more KOTOR. Uh, it has been... Good lord. Um... Dang, I don't know. A month and a half? Two months? Maybe a little longer since I've recorded any KOTOR? So, I'm gonna be a little rusty. As you can probably assume. I'm not 100% sure where I left off either. I know I just went into this uh, uh, this cave thing and killed a monster and told some renegade Sith to run for the hills. So uh, it's about the remainder of it. Let's head out here. Dak Vessler, Vesser, a named guy. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Indeed. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Yeah, is there stuff in there? Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. Hmm, interesting. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off limits to the students. Yeah, who's that? It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. Interesting. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. Hmm. Second tomb on the left, huh? Writing this down real quick. I came prepared. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I... I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look. I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Hmm. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. Uh, I think that's it, actually. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. Y'all were involved, weren't you? Second one on the left. Is that... You mean in here? Or is this, like, number one? Is this it? Marka Ragnus. Maybe there's one over here somewhere. Archaeologist. Whoop. Oh. This is probably it. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't want to do this one first, though. For obvious reasons, it's probably where I need to go. So I'd like to go to the other ones first. I'm surprised I'm memorizing most of the controls. Memorizing. Remembering. Tulak Horde. Hmm. Let's check this out. Hello? Yes? And you need? Did you have any of this? Sure. What is it? Hmm? No, you can't do anything either. What? Well... Reactivate the droid. How many parts do I have? 59! Holy crap! Engage the patrol mode. Shields, targeting system, and weaponry. Let's increase targeting so it's more accurate. And... Weaponry so it's maximum. Okay. Go forth! Looks like it was just a shock grenade. Yes, indeed. going this way. Hold on. Hold on, droid. Because whoa. oh wait, it broke its route for that combat. I want to see if it'll turn around and go the other way. Maybe set off that mine for us. I'm just trying to get used to what these buttons do. So like four is heal, two is my force power in combat. That is. Okay, good. It is going this way. S yeah, I know. Set off the mine. Because that's a frag grenade. I'd rather not get involved in that. Console. For 
for if you did not drop rocks on my head. System online, system status pending. Okay. Open the door. Let me out. I can't. Goodness. That was weird. Verpine prototype ion blaster, Mandalorian battle armor. Let's look at that. Actually, let's just do it like uh, like this. This is defense bonus nine, max dex bonus two, const one, strength two. Those are my upgrades. Mandalorian battle armor. Uh, that doesn't give me any any uh, dex bonus capa capability. I keep like saying that and people get upset that I'm mispronouncing that. I'm not mispronouncing but misusing that phrase. Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Mikol. Say hello, Mikol. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Not in the slightest. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I've been told, I don't remember. No? Blast it. What have they been teaching you children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see... I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Why then you go free? Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right? And I torture Mikol. Get it wrong? And I torture you. Mikol here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Mikol. Maybe you don't like him. 
Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough? Oh, God. Um... Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was self-evident. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we could both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? then I must assume you did not know the correct answer. Sad, really, that you would do this to yourself. Ah, well, it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea, bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I'm trying to balance right and wrong answers to hurt me and hurt Mikkel a little bit to the point where we can both attack him. I don't know when that point comes in or how much damage each of us can take, but I'm assuming I can take more than him. Uh, but it's time for me to let him take a little hurt. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him? Or give him another chance. You're not trying to make me angry, are you? That would be pointless posturing on your part. Is this so hard? Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Huh. Such insolent students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. I'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. 
Where's the other guy? That is what a Jedi can do. Sorry, Meikle. Ancient Sith tablet. Come on. You can do it, Jolie. Yeah, that's not too far. I think that's good enough for now. Let's open some of these doors. Yes. Yes. Huh. Okay. Nice. Bondar crystal. Oh, there's another dead body. Ah. Oops. Hmm. Okay. I was wanting to see if I would select it. Obviously, that didn't work. Furkrin crystal. Furkrin? Tomb door. There was something else. Um, sorry guys. Hmm. Jahani, seriously, yo. Tulak Horde's mask. What does that do? Actually, hold on. What's this do? Oh, I don't really know until I put it on something. Where's that guy's mask? Resistance versus fire. Stealth 2 restricted to dark side. Not interested. Alright, let's get out of here and go to the next tomb. There we go, I reset its patrol. It's kind of stuck on don't do anything mode. That, that smoke coming up totally caught me off guard. I was like, what the hell? Next. So that wasn't too bad. Let's save now that we're done with that. Whoa, I can't go that way. Inconvenient. Archaeologists not interested. They're just generic archaeologists. Metal box, that's something. Life support, down with that. Gallon lore? Who are you? Oh, hello to you. You're new to the academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Neelix? I think that's Neelix. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. Hmm. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Who's that? Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. 
These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, a Junta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Really? Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. Hmm. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Interesting. Of course. Um, don't let me keep you from your business. I'm not going to talk to you because you might be tempted to stop me from getting it. Ajanta Paul. Can't do anything about it, so I might as well hit it. <laughs> Don't attack yet. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Affected by force power. Huh. Picked up a your yes. Picked up a data pad. Let's click on some of these just to get them out of the purple state. What does that do? Nothing really. There's just grenades. Data pad, where? Ancient Sith tablet. Strangely enough, I've found traces of Thorangin in the tomb. This is an unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Very volatile and dangerous. It will react violently to fire. Okay, good to know. Some black rock is very unstable. this. Oh, this is just, like... Okay. <laughs> Look, why don't you get out of the way first? Yes. yes. Can't do anything. Severed arm? Holy crap. What's on that data pad? Thorangian obelisk. All right, first off. And you need yes. what? Hmm, how do I throw a grenade? Well. Um, y'all.
Ah ha ha ha. Okay. Switch to give item. Frag grenade, concussion, thermal. That would be fire, right? Plasma, maybe. Let's do a thermal. Shit! Run! <laughs> <laughs> 